This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, Functions with Minecraft Puzzle 9. There's ice in the way. Oh no! Um, the ice, uh, the clear path function can help destroy the ice and get Steve to the minecart. All right, so here's the clear path function. And remember what a function does. It's a bit of code or a chunk of code that will run whenever we ask the computer to. We can say its name and then the function will run. So for example, right here, if I snap clear path, what's really going to happen is when I hit run, I'm going to destroy a block, move forward and place a gravel block. Then whatever's underneath it, for example, move forward, will all do next. Let me show you. And then I move forward. So what happens here, I said clear path, the computer looks around, okay, clear, oh, clear path. And clear path isn't a loop. It's not repeating itself, right? Loops are pink. It's just green. It's just this chunk of code. So we say clear path. The computer looks around. Oh, here it is. Drops in. I'll destroy one brick. I move forward one. I place gravel. Hits the bottom. And it just goes all the way back to where we called it and goes the next line. And that's why I move forward one. All right. So I want to clear path and get to the mine cart. So I'm going to need to move forward again, I think. And then, I well, I want to get rid of that brick and move forward. And then I'm going to get rid of that brick and move forward. And I just noticed something. But uh, these two lines repeat, right? They're exactly the same. So to have less code, right, to make it easier, we should use a repeat block because this will do the same thing as writing instead of writing it twice we'll write it once put this two to a two and that means hey make this happen twice okay now oh wow and notice that we're putting a clear path in our repeat that's fine so we're going to run a clear path here we'll move forward to okay we'll hit the repeat and then we're going to clear path move forward so we'll be standing here oh we'll be standing right here because we move forward in clear path Hit the bottom of our repeat, go back to the top. We'll run clear path again, destroy the block, move forward, place gravel, boom, hit the bottom of this, and we should be good to go. So when we repeat it, when we move forward, move forward, and end up here, we drop into our loop first time through, clear path. Oh, what's clear path? This. So the computer runs, destroy the block, and so we destroy that block. We move forward, and so we're going to move forward forward to here, place gravel, place gravel, hit the bottom, go down, move forward again. So now we're moving forward to this block, hit the bottom of this loop, zoop, back to the top for a second time around. Let's test. Awesome. So we use this three different times, right? Clear to path and then we clear to path twice using our loop. And instead of having to write all that code three times, we put it in a function and asked it to run three times. That's awesome. I wonder, let's see what this is. Oh yeah, here's a clear path code. <laughs> cool, let's keep going. 